So today, all this is going to the allotment. Now then, I took, <laughs> took a little while to set this up. This is this has come from my son's room, and it's one of those kind of and it's cheapest chips kind of IKEA furniture that we had in. He wanted to go minimalist <laughs> when we got it, and I, I don't know if it's going to be any good in the in the allotment or not. But anyways, it's good for today. So let's talk about plant pots because I may have found the best plant pot plant trays out there so you know we're, we're, i mean i think we're all a little bit sick of kind of them ones and actually i had to hunt around now because i'm getting rid of everything like that off this site and i'm trying to just do away with this kind of cheap plastic and have something sustainable which lasts a bit longer so then was mark two and <laughs> i found these now, I actually, these will be brilliant, and they are brilliant, don't get us wrong, but I had to do a little modification, if anyone remembers watching those shows, and I give away some as well. And these work a treat, and it's hard plastic, but not everybody can get these. So, a while ago, I got, I watched a kind of Charlie Dowden video, and, and I know Steve from Green Side Up, he's got these as well. And... He got them and he's, he's made these under his own name from a company called Containerwise. And I kind of get away with them. And that's my fault because you've got to be on the ball. I mean, don't get us on the 60 cells in there. You put your seeds, you get your seeds, you plant them out. But for me personally, I'm a little bit lax and I'm not on the ball quick enough, you know. They dry out pretty quick for that size, you know, you've got to, but if you're kind of like a pro gardener and you're putting it out, these work, and like I say, Steve loves them. So I went on the container wise site to see if they had anything else. Oh, got a box, got a box sent. Now, full disclosure, I tried to get these for free when I first, I thought I'll drop in an email and see if I can do like a little review and get a few for free because they are great. I just wanted something a bit better for me personally. They didn't get back in touch and I thought, oh, well, you know, so I, I know what that quality like, so I bought them myself. Now, between me buying them and them getting posted out, they got in touch with us and sent a few more. So I don't know what's in here. So I've paid for part of them, <laughs> should I say. So we'll just see, and we'll just hope this table kind of holds up. Because what I want to do today is plant a load of stuff out as well, get the second batch of seeds going. Right, let's see what's in here. Let's see what we'll move. All these. Oh. So the, can you see that there? So these are a slightly bigger one and you know you can get you still that's the crucial thing i think for me which kind of stops them other thin ones just breaking down it's the this hole that it just that's what you need a perfect size hole so there's one that size now i'll put a link on to container wise oh look at this now this is the one i've been looking for to just get rid of all this white plastic polystyrene now they will be perfect that's almost like a plant pot size so that's you're going to be able to put loads of compost in those ones and again you can just push out that is the dream size for me you know what i mean it's just you can keep them longer so if you're kind of you are working you're kind of doing different things and you can't get up the allotment all the time that is going to be perfect absolutely perfect and it's like you see there's 24 there it's going to be ideal <gasps> right let's see what else is in here now 
Now I wanted as well some of the like the deep root ones as well and again there they are because them root trainers are great what I've got in there but again they are thin and these will just be perfect they've got the holes there so how many I get I've got three of them let's have a look what else is in here I think that's more of them ones actually know they're a little bit bigger as well so I'm, it's it's what you want do you know what I mean you want sturdy hard plastic with a nice decent hole in there they're popping in a couple of the green trays and i think this is just purely as like a water tray water bed there so and again another durable bit of plastic now i want to plant up today as well to see how good for the second batch of my seeds that i'm doing seeds for june We'll get rid of this and this. I'll do, I think we'll go with the root trainers first and we'll get some little dwarf beans in there. So these are dwarf French Hilton beans. So there we go for the time being now what i will say is i'm going to be planting some more what i want to plant is some purple sprouting broccoli which will go hopefully where those beans are so it's it's on order and it's coming as soon as it comes here i'll show you planting that up but i've got i did two lots of beans i did the hilton and the purple tp then i've done three lots of spring onions ishikua and one called purple spring onion and all the seeds are there actually the beans ones came from like different dt brown i think with the onions came from premier seeds direct so i'll just give a little water we'll get them in What I've noticed as well is when you're carrying them, they're nice and rigid. You know, you don't need another tree to support them. So there's another plus. Get them down. So there we go. I've also snuck in as well some bold hardy beetroot in a different compost a different mix and i did that for the potty mouth garden club patreon so if you want to join patreon club as well link below that would help us out two pound a month that'd be fantastic but what i'm hoping for is these just last way longer than the, the predecessors you know what i mean it's just the the thin things and like i say <laughs> Those are the root trainer ones. They've got a tough job ahead of them because although these were thin, these are universally accepted to be brilliant, do you know? So if I can get those to work as good as them, then that's a win-win all round. Okay then, look after yourself. Links below. It's just a little company that does this, so if they haven't got the stock in, just drop them a line, drop them an email, and get in touch with them. They're lovely folks there. Like I say, Charlie Dowden's working with them. So get yourselves some of those, and hopefully we'll go a little bit further to helping the environment as well. Look after yourselves. Take good care.